Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude. I am here to review Playing for Keeps, starring Gerard Butler, Jessica Biel, Dennis Quaid, Judy Greer, and Catherine Zeta Jones. Alright, so Playing for Keeps, I missed this in December. I just really did not feel like going to see this in theaters, so I'm all like, eh, I'll wait till rental. I finally got to see it off of Netflix. After seeing Playing for Keeps, it's okay. It's not a movie meant to be in the theaters by any means, though. This movie, as I was watching it, felt like a Hallmark television movie special. That's really all it felt like to me. I felt like I was watching a Hallmark movie, not a movie that came from the theaters, which is pretty sad. Is it a bad film, in my opinion? No, it's a watchable film. There's just really nothing special about playing for keeps. I mean, yeah, Jared Butler, it's good. A lot of people get harsh on him about doing more of these than action. I honestly enjoy the guy doing different genres and films. And I thought Jared Butler was enjoyable here in Playing for Keeps. I thought he did good. Jessica Biel, who is a beautiful actress, I thought she was enjoyable here as well. We also got Dennis Quaid, who was also good here. Judy Greer and Catherine Zeta-Jones, they're pretty good here as well. Although, <laughs> their characters... They could get a little annoying, especially Judy Greer's. Her character gets a little bit too over-exaggerated. The movie could be funny here and there. You know, it's got heart here and there. I thought that was pretty cool. But the storyline really isn't good. It's not memorable. It's very predictable. It's got all the cliches you'll ever see in a romantic comedy film. Playing for Keeps just really isn't that good of a film. It's watchable, and I was fine watching it once, but I just can't go back to it, and yeah, it's just a forgettable film, but whatever. It's not bad. It's not a bad film at all. The performances are enjoyable, but it's just written very poorly. Poorly written, predictable, you knew exactly how it was going to end. There's just nothing too special or too refreshing or too creative about this film. I'll give Playing for Keeps two out of four stars. It's okay. It's okay. Subscribe to my channel. Comment your honest opinion on this film. Like and share this video. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I hope you enjoyed this and don't forget that I will always have Taga Power.